What kind of advice would you give yourself 15 years ago? Okay, so I'm gonna take this in a little different direction and I'll, I'll bring up Carmela. Carmela gave me a piece of advice that I use all the time and I've said this to my team, I've said this yeah. a million times, but is that life makes sense backwards. And that when you're in the moment, it might not always make sense, but when you reflect, mm -hmm. things tend to make sense backwards. And so if something terrible happens, take pause and understand that maybe it's putting you and propelling you to something fantastic. Yeah. Um, and so taking that advice, if I look back um, and think about my last 15 years and, and what I wish I knew then, I would probably say that success and, and climbing the ladder isn't always linear, right? right? It's kind of bobbing and weaving and getting yes. different experiences and changing course. I was in sales. I tried ops. I was mm -hmm. in product. I went in trying all sorts of different things can lead you on an amazing journey and provide um, different experiences that really allow you to present yourselves in ways you never thought you might be able to and offer opportunities that you might not have had. And so I think say yes, try different things and be willing to move in your career and you might end up further faster um, than you might thought from just kind of climbing the ladder. Yeah, absolutely. I, in my career, I've done that, um, those lattice moves where you're in a different part of the business, you're learning something new, you are contributing in a different way, networking and, and growing your internal and external network. I think it's really, really important that um, we don't discount the time, effort, and opportunities that might be not a vertical move, but a horizontal move. Absolutely. Really help, helps us in our careers. Absolutely. What yeah. would be your piece of advice to yourself 15 years ago? 15 years ago, I would say, you know what, Deanne, everything's going to work out. It's going to work out. You're going to be fine. Um, I think I used to worry so much that things would go wrong. Um, and if I didn't do this or I didn't go down that path, I would not be able to reach, you know, whatever it was I was aspiring to at that point. Um, and I think I really put a lot of pressure on myself. And my mom would say, it's going to work out. And I think she doesn't know what she's talking about, but she did, you know, and I probably would have saved myself a lot of anxiety, a lot of angst over small things if I just believed that it's going to work out and it's going to work out the way that it should. So, Carrie, you've done a lot in your career. Tell me about your proudest moment. Well, thinking back, if, if I reflect and in, in line of looking at things backwards, um, I'd actually like to talk about something that put me on a path to success, but really felt like a failure at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and I've talked with this uh, about, about this with my team a little bit, is that I was one of those kind of consummate overachievers in school and had my heart set on a certain college, um, only one college, and it was Georgetown. And despite being valedictorian and getting all A's, I didn't get in. And it felt like everything stopped and I had, you know, nowhere else to go. Um, and instead, I ended up going to a college called Duquesne University and falling into this insurance industry and meeting my husband. And again, Carmela tells me, I look back, if I had gone to Georgetown, I wouldn't have ended up with my husband or had my son and I wouldn't have ended up here in the seat that I sit. So while at the time it felt insane um, and awful and life ending, it actually kind of jump started me to where I sit today. So it's easier to see that now. Oh, that's a wonderful story. Thanks for sharing Thank that. Thank you. Great. Well, this was wonderful. Thank you, Carrie. I mean, I learned so much about you, um, your goals, your background, um, how you got to where you are, your family, uh, your role models. Really, really very refreshing to hear. Thank, Thank you. I appreciate the time and it was a wonderful conversation. Yes, it was. Congratulations again. Thank you. Join us next time for another conversation on Very Inspired, where we amplify women's voices across Verisk.